Now, Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, has announced her resignation after more than eight years at the helm. The move has sent shockwaves across Britain. Ms Sturgeon said about an hour ago she would remain leader until a successor is found. She says she will also remain in Parliament. Ms Sturgeon says her decision to quit was not linked to recent short-term issues. Essentially, I've been trying to answer two questions. Is carrying on right for me? And more importantly, is me carrying on right for the country, for my party and for the independence cause I have devoted my life to? I understand why some will automatically answer yes to that second question. But in truth, I have been having to work harder in recent times to convince myself that the answer to either of them, when examined deeply, is yes. And I've reached the difficult conclusion that it's not. Nicola Sturgeon became Scotland's first female leader when she came to power in 2014. She led the Scottish National Party to a series of election victories. And she is the country's longest serving first minister. To many, Ms Sturgeon has become the face of Scottish independence. She was a fierce opponent of Brexit and she has been pushing for another independence referendum. But the UK government has blocked any chance of another vote. The SNP is expected to hold a special conference next month to discuss whether to use the next general election as a de facto referendum.